Hello, people that didn't ask. Welcome to Skax Episode 2. If you don't know what Skax is, or if you missed the first episode, it is Sarge's Comprehensive uh, Audio Critique Series. There you go. Nice up there. Okay, so basically what this series is, is I'm going to have one guest, maybe two, depending on each episode. And we're going to review a random song from my library, or let them pick a song. So, today it's going to be Meanie and I again for the second episode, and Meanie. Yeah. Do you have a song in mind? I do not. Alright, then let's get to the uh, chopping block. Alright, time to hit the magic button. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Meanie. So, do you want to start? You can start. Okay, so for enjoyability, definitely, uh, as an Eminem song, it doesn't have as many of the fucking goofy aspects, it doesn't have stupid-ass lyrics, it's actually pretty serious, and it seems to be a one of the more emotional songs where Eminem's seeking sympathy because it's a serious issue in his life or whatever at this time. I forget when this came out, I'll have to go look on Genius in a second, but... It's actually a lot more of a touching song compared to most of his other shit, so... Uh, for enjoyability... Um... I don't know. I'll give it a... 9 out of 10, honestly, because... I mean, I should be saying this for, like, discography relative score, but... Enjoyability, this is actually a really fucking good Eminem song. I like this song. What are your thoughts on it? Yeah, I... I thought pretty much the same thing. Because um, a lot of his other songs, they're more um, energetic, I want to say. Or like, more aggressive, kind of, too. This one, you know, while there's still, like, aggress aggression, it's more, like, it's more serious. Mm -hmm. Like, he's not as, like, I don't know. He, he, he just seems more, like, more serious, like you were saying. Mm -hmm. And, um... I enjoyed it. Let me start getting a working file going for this. An eight. An eight? Okay. Yeah. Well then, 8.5 times four. Hold up, my brain's really slow. I think it's a 34, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So that means next, we must discuss the originality of the song. Uh. For Eminem, let me check. I look on uh, Genius. This is 2004 when this was released. So this is Eminem a few years past like the release of most of his bigger albums. Because I think before that was Marsh not Marsha Mathers LP. It might have been. Hmm. I don't know. Either way, like this isn't Eminem at his highest. This is him like in the state of his prime he should be real happy right now and on top of the world and continue doing his stupid goofy songs but he takes a break from it for a second for one of his more heavy songs because he's also got some other heavy ones back in the day like cleaning out my closet and you know this is really nice dark Eminem it's not something that's very original at the time because at the other time like 2004 I can't really think of any other rappers rapping about shit like this because I should uh, be culturally uh enlightened and listen to jay-z but uh, sorry i'm not that man removed his fucking discography from spotify for a long time so uh, of course i'm sure there are artists that are as original as him but i'm really fucking liking this song in general i've liked it for years so i'm gonna give this another real good score i'll give it a uh, eight out of ten for originality i guess because it's not the most groundbreaking song but it was original for the time i guess mm-hmm and so the beat of the drum really felt like, oh yeah, it, it, it fit the theme, or like the basic idea, like toy soldiers. But it's like, mm -hmm. you know, like those toy soldiers that like play the drums and stuff. It sounded like that. Uh, it seemed pretty original yeah. compared to like other stuff that he's put out. Because like the only thing I'm like pretty like jumping out at me is like back to memories of um, when he did Rap God and stuff like that. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's my base, like, comparison, like, the base comparison I'm doing right now. You can't think of all the ancient ones, you can only think of, like, the most recent big hit in Eminem that wasn't doo-doo. 
Stan? Is that one of them? Stan's a very good old song, yeah. That's not a good yeah, one. That one's a good one. But it's, it's different than these other things. I was thinking 8 as well. Well, okay. And for originality, we got uh, 24. So now let's move on to our discography relative score. I don't know about you. All right, I'll let you go first. What do you think about this compared to his other songs? Again, <laughs> like I said earlier, it's it's uh, pretty different than what I'm remembering for Eminem. All right. It's so you, do you have a like number you could put it, pin it on it for the discography relative? How much better is this than his other songs? Would it be mm -hmm. middle of the pack, like a five or a six, or would it be like significantly better, higher? Cause I like a lot of his songs actually, but like this song is different than his other songs. Mm -hmm. I like I enjoy them both equally, mm -hmm. and so I'm just gonna give it eight across the board. <laughs> okay, well I'm gonna one up you a little bit because honestly for me, compared to other Eminem songs. Honestly, this, there's no other song that I think stands in this echelon That's of, like, storytelling. Mm -hmm. Well, there's others ones, but I'm not completely... I haven't listened to every single fucking Eminem song, and I don't know them all by heart. But from mm -hmm. all the bigger hits I can remember, this one stands out as just above all else. Lyrically, and like you said, sonically, with the way they has, like, his voice, he kind of pitters along with the drums really quick, like, with his bars. It's insane. I'm gonna give this a fucking 10 out of 10, because I think this is... One of the best, if not the best, Eminem song. So, what did you give it for that? One through ten? Eight, I'm eight. giving it a ten. You're giving it eight? So, we got... Uh, what's my brain doing? Uh, nine. Nine times two is eighteen. Now, let's move on to lyrics and instrumentation. What are you thinking? I like the lyrics. He rhymes very well. <laughs> sounds, sounds dumb, but... Um... No, it makes sense. It's Eminem. Like, yeah. He's a little but, corny like, so sometimes, but he's just got amazing mm -hmm. bars. Yeah, like some of the things he, he rhymes and you wouldn't think would actually rhyme, but it actually, I'm like, whoa, that's a, that's a really, really smart way of combining these words and still, still being able to tell the story mm -hmm. or get the point across. The way he says his words, like his draw or whatever, because like mm -hmm. the first verse just supposed to be the soldier who never blows his composure, even though I hold the weight of the whole world on my shoulders. Mm -hmm. Composer, yeah. shoulders, that's a really interesting way to like mm -hmm. combine them. And then, of course, Know It and then Benzino, because I think that's handle some example. dude he was having a beef with at the time. And then Handle mm -hmm. Example, yeah, it's just solid all across. Mm -hmm. He does have a few that end with It, but of course, you know, he leads into it, I guess, with another mm -hmm. word. But yeah, so. And again, and again, I also really like, um, I actually really like the hook. Because, like, mm -hmm. when I was, like, reading the lyrics before um, I was listening to the song, I was just like, like, that's gonna seem like a kind of weird because turn apart, which is on for torso. Like, I was like, on doesn't really rhyme with anything. Oh, on down, see, it doesn't rhyme. Oh, that, so that's I, just I part of the hook. Gonna... It's a sample. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I was like, how are they gonna get that? But it's a sample, but he used it well. Yeah. <laughs> it, it fits it almost, it fits, it fits the title. And plus, um, Again, with the beat of the drum, it just it pulled it together, and he actually rhymed with it. Mm -hmm. so, I enjoyed that. Yeah, and honestly, I was just gonna add on also like the whole song just being about different ways that he and his friends have gotten into beefs and then like had to try to squash mm -hmm. them or whatever, and how there's some things that you just cross a line, like he said with the you know, Benzino crossed the line and then talked about his daughter Haley, just bring like personal things into this and how he's been personally affected by this and how he and all his friends from like d12 and pretty sure he i don't know if he name drops or even mentions 50 cent but yeah he does oh yeah we'll actually try to stop the 50 and job b from happening like he just keeps on talking about different instances where people need to man up and stop making fools of themselves in public like with fighting because you should at least try to get along and you can poke and like you know jab people have fun with them but Turning yeah, your entire career into fucking serious. distance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He was serious and being like, this shit isn't constructive and we're kind of fucking hurting each other. It's not cool. Which, mm -hmm. you know, kind of corny, but it's it's a nice heartfelt song from an mm -hmm. artist that's otherwise got a lot of 
decent bops, but they're really fucking stupid in their, like, execution sometimes. Like, making a bunch of fart jokes and sex jokes and being like, oh, man. The Nat, Nat Geo titties and shit like that. and No, no, clitoris. Nat Geo clitoris. There you go. Just shit like that. He comes from being, like, so clever with his, like, constructing his bars and putting these otherwise not really related concepts together into cohesive almost story sometimes but like this song is just so deep and much better than his other shit so it's for lyrics instrumentation really yeah definitely i'm giving it a fucking 10 out of 10 for lyrics and instrumentation because that <laughs> like you mentioned earlier too i was just going to say it one more time to just reiterate that way that he incorporates the uh like the hook from the sample mm -hmm. from martika it says yeah martika's toy soldiers the way that it just kind of tapers off and fades out after the Fatoa soldiers and he begins his verse and it just keeps the drums going mm -hmm. that's just a really good way to tie it all in together the analogy of like um rap beefs and people just going at each other being similar to toy soldiers just pawns fighting each other and shit because that's what when you look at the hook on genius it'll mention that mm -hmm. it's it's a great fucking song getting a 10 out of 10 for lyrics so what are you thinking for lyrics instrumentation <laughs> so we're giving it a 10 out of 10 for that cool cool yeah. All right, so let me do the quick little calculations. Hopefully my brain's working today. We got 34 for enjoyability, 24 for originality, 18 for discography relative, and a 10 for lyrics and instrumentation to give us a final review score of 86%. That's pretty damn good. It's not exactly as high as I was thinking, but it's better than nothing. It's definitely a great song. Ta-da! Thank you for watching Skax Episode 2. Hopefully this isn't a bitch to edit. You'll tell if it is by the fact that it has no effort put into it. Either way, thanks for watching Skax Episode 2. Bye, guys. Oh, and don't forget to check the description. It'll have the links to all the shit you need to know for the songs that we review. Ta-da! Goodbye.